everybody. My name is Anissa. Nice to see you. Um, today we are actually going to look at a first look at Jenny LeClue Detective. I hope I said her last name right. Um, this has been, I bought this a while back when it was on sale. Um, I don't know what the price is right now, but I want to see if this is going to be a game that I can possibly play on my channel. Um, if you're watching me on Twitch, Thanks for joining, but you're most definitely going to see the VOD of this on my YouTube page. And if everything goes well, this will be another current series on that channel. Same name title, Anissa SP Gaming. So without further ado, let's get into the game. And I hope that the audio and music is okay because I really don't want to have to play my music playlist on top of the game if we can hear dialogue and it has interesting music. So let's head into it and let's see what we can find. Ooh. Okay, choose your preferred dialogue. A great detective knows the right decision is often the hardest to make. Autoplay or manual? And what is this? A great detective knows the right decision is often the hardest to make. Are we talking about like what it looks like on the screen? Cause I kind of like that. You can change these settings at any time. Let's go with this one for now. Oh, geez. Okay. That. And then what is autoplay or manual advance? If it's autoplay, does that mean that we're going to have it talking to us? Because that would be great. So let's try autoplay and hopefully they have sound. New game. Uh, confirm. I also don't really know much about this. I know that it's a mystery and it's also a platformer, so we're gonna see how we feel. Ooh, creepy. Uh-uh. What's with the creepy kid noise? Left us to walk, so walk. I'm making him walk. Oh, I'm already not liking this. I don't like scary things. <laughs> B to accelerate. Are we liking this so far? Okay, that's to rotate. Okay, so I'm guessing we have to put the line perfect in the center. Ah. Oh, I don't like this perfectness because, especially with the switch. Oh my god. The whole thing? Wait. Wait, try that again? I've hit the wrong button apparently. Okay, then this one. Huh. So, okay, we got so many games, but I have a feeling that's gonna turn everything. 
does. Unless you do this one first. And then you just turn this one. Perfect. That's actually kind of cool. Please have dialogue. Please, please, please have other people talking so I don't have to read. have dozed off. Perhaps we need a spot of tea to wake us up. What do you say, Rufus? Yes, yes, quite right. Better get back to work. This book won't write itself. Maybe I should start somewhere easier. I'll come back to the prologue later. The sun rose over another perfect day in picturesque Arthurton. To the casual observer, Arthurton seemed like any other small, quiet town. It was nestled in a valley between two mountains, lined by lustrous forests, and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. It had a main street with all the essentials, including a place to sip coffee. It had schools, a college, a church, and a police station. It even had a museum no one ever visited. It was the kind of place you might find anywhere on your travels. Typical, maybe even forgettable. But there was one thing in Arthurton that was unlike any other town in the whole world. Actually, it was a girl. Her name was... Jenny LeClue. And she was the world's greatest detective. Finkelstein residence. Oh, hello, Glenda. Yes, he said he might ring. Okay, patch me through then. Richard? Yes, I got it. I did, and my answer is no. I understand that, but... We well, yes, of course, but... No, no, no. Nothing is settled. I'm not going to do it. It goes against everything my books stand for. No, not yet, but... If I could just... Please, listen to what I'm saying. Oh, is it my turn? I love this. It's like a little movie. I don't have to say much. Okay. It was the kind of place you might find somewhere on your travels. Typical, maybe even forgettable. But there was one time in Arthurton that was unlike any other town in the whole world. Um, oh, we can, okay. Chapter one. Can I rotate? Can I turn? No. 
if I can move this. <laughs> sorry. Okay, sorry. Um, chapter chapter one. Okay. The sun rose over another perfect day in picturesque Arcturus. The casual observer Arcturus seems like any small, quiet town. It was nestled in the valley between two mountains, lined with lustrous forests, and perched on the edge of a pristine lake. It had schools, a church, a police station. It had a main street with shops and a place to spill, to sip coffee. It even had a museum no one ever visited. Okay. Right. Her name was Jenny LeClue. Uh, sh and she was the world's greatest detective. Space. Can I type it? I'm pressing the button. Nothing's happening. Okay. Pen. No. Envelope. Dear Arthur, I hope all is well. After I've been, got bad news. Well. Dear Arthur, I hope all is well. Afraid I've got bad news, old chum. There is no easy way to say this, so I've attached the latest book sales numbers. Uh oh. Nowadays, young readers want more mystery and danger. You're losing them with Jenny's incredibly t um, timid and receptive adventures. Okay, so he is making up Jenny. Okay. One bite of good news. It's too late for the stores to cancel their orders for the next book. So we're going to have to give you one last go and see if you can breathe some life into the old girl. We want you to try a proper murder mystery. Start killing people off. Add some drama. The bottom line is, if you don't step it up, I'm afraid it'll... It's a case of Jenny and the last hurrah. I'm not a murderer. <laughs> oh no. X's flip. Rotate. Ooh. Okay. X's flip. In other positive news, someone from a real hack <laughs> newspaper finally reviewed your last book, Jenny LeClue and the Missing Magmod, whatever, Sandwich. Sandwich. Um, don't you know a good story if it bites you in the rump? Um, it took the worst bite out. Unbelievable. I imagine all that... This might come as a bit of a shock, but you've got to move the times. Throw in a murder or two, a dash of real tragedy, and who knows? Maybe you've got one great story left in you. I'll bring you later to discuss. Sorry about the, your career. Chin up though, eh? P.S. Squash next week? At least you'll have time to work on that back land soon. Hmm. And Zoom, we can read the news article, I guess. Ooh, hello. Uh, book series. Mm -hmm. Once collected, mysterious chairs have traveled all over the world. Jenny has since. Uh, without reservation, the only mystery left in art to know is trash keeping. Since <laughs> how the trash keeps getting published. This reader ne nearly died of boredom. On the possum note. Makes a good doorstop. Of course it does. Okay. So Jenny is losing her edge, huh? Ooh. What's this? Oh, fickle, fickle, fickle. Come on, pick it up. Not you. So why can't I touch this? I touched it. There we go. I found art gallery. Or, well, gallery art. <laughs> okay. You found a piece of art. Head over to the gallery to see it on display. You can access the gallery from the main menu or pause. Or the pause menu. During curtain, certain parts of gameplay, the gallery will be disabled. Okay. Interesting. Back. Can I move this? No. This? 
the cannon, but I want to hit it off the table. I could turn that off. Can I see anything in the dark? Um, turn that back on. And over here. <sighs> well, it's me again. And here we are at book 38 of the Jenny LeClue series. Most joyful adventure yet. Thank you for all the new Jenny LeClue fans out there. You have both been incredibly supportive. Both? To answer your questions, despite any rumors you may have heard, of course the Jenny books will continue as long as there is ink in my pen and a ribbon in my typewriter. Two, yes, it will be more of the same. I refuse to change my formula. Arthur Tun will always be safe and happy place. Yikes. It's a lot of people. All in alphabetical order. Okay. Five pages. Wow. Why does this keep moving? I guess because if you want to like read the names closer. And we don't need to zoom. Alright. Am I done? Oh, look. Another gallery art. Yay! Okay, again. Anything else? No? We're good? Okay, so we get the gist of this. Moving on. You don't understand what you're asking for. You want me to turn Jenny's world upside down? Kill off my characters and destroy everything I've built over the last 30 years? Fine. I'll what? give you what you want. But I warn you, I'm a stream of consciousness writer. And you have unleashed my fury. <laughs> Good day, sir. Boring? Predictable? Bah! Well, if it's murder they want, it's murder they'll get. Uh -oh. It should have been another perfect day in Arthurton. But today was different. And nothing would ever be the same again. To begin with, Jenny LeClue was dead. What? Her skin was pale, her eyes glassy and frozen. What cruel fate had befallen our beloved detective? Move the victim. Mrs. LeClue, she's doing it again. Jenny LeClue, you are a dead body. Dead bodies don't talk. <laughs> Teaches dumb students? But he's doing it wrong! As wonderful as it would be if all cadavers were so talkative, we must deduce the cause of death without their help. With only the evidence laid before us, we build a picture from the fragments left behind. We collect clues, interpret the data, and solve our puzzle one piece at a time, until it feels as if the victim is speaking to us. But Jenny is right, Jonathan. You mustn't disturb the crime scene. Vital evidence could be lost. Sorry, Mrs. LeClue. <laughs> okay, you've all had a chance to study the body? Who can postulate how she met her demise? Oh, uh, me, me. I think it was an accident. Yeah, she obviously wasn't looking where she was going. So she slipped on the wet floor. And cracked her head open. Like an egg. And then she bled to death. Really, how can you tell? Well, there's a giant pool of blood around her head. Yeah, I know. I was being sarcastic. Oh. Actually. You're both wrong. 
What's this? What? It was cold blooded murder. Murder? Don't be ridiculous. Where's the murder weapon? There's no evidence anyone else was even here. Oh, yes, there is. It was murder. And I can prove it. Jenny had read all the books. She'd absorbed all her mother's teachings. But there was nothing quite like getting your hands dirty. How many people get the chance to solve their own murder? The first step in any good deduction was collecting evidence. Seemingly something insignificant details could provide a vital piece There's of the something. puzzle. First, I'll search the crime scene for clues. Then she'd analyze the data. And finally... Deduce the real cause of death. Oh, I gotta do something? <laughs> One sec. Okay. Well, like I said, there's a rip here. Jenny's blue sweater was scruffy and quite uncomfortable, but her grandmother had knitted it, and so it was her favorite. The more it itched, the closer she felt to her. Oh, but well, what about the tear? Unless that's clue one? Okay. It looks like either throw up or poison here. The victim has a green smudge on her lips. It's not lipstick. Okay, we got this. There's no doubt the victim lost a lot of blood. All right. Another gallery piece? What are we doing? <laughs> we have the water. The Maybe place there. And slippery, but also immaculately clean. Right. Place there. Oh, this is fun. Okay. <laughs> this just tells you, like, it's not serious. So, like, that's what makes me okay with this. Um. Eight clues. Oh. What a waste of perfectly good coffee. Jenny's love for coffee was almost as strong as her passion for crime solving. Chalky green residue on the rim. Right. <laughs> Smells like burnt matches. Is there anything else? Oh, Jesus. I can't I can't take these serious. Okay. I'm like doing the perimeter now cuz I don't believe this. Her shoes are not are they dirty? Approximately eight sizes too big and covered in mud. Right. There's still two more. There's another tear here. No? But that doesn't count anymore? Okay. Uh, can I just click anywhere now? No, I don't Without know. her trusty bifocals, Jenny couldn't see the nose in front of her face. They were her window to the world, and the lens through which she focused her keen detective vision. So she wears glasses, is that okay? So... It wasn't Jenny's style to wear accessories, but this hair clip was the exception. Its function as a lockpick had saved Jenny from a long night trapped in her school locker. She'd worn it ever since. Okay. I've seen enough. Time to wrap this case up. Every accessory. Jenny was a meticulous record keeper, noting every relevant clue in her trusty journal. A great detective knew that solving a mystery was simply a matter of connecting the dots. I'm certain this wasn't a mere accident. Now I just need to prove it. How do I know the victim didn't slip? Um... Glasses? And... Boots are dirty. Not the sweater, not the wet floor, and not the pool of blood. That doesn't quite add up. Let me give this some more thought. Really? I would think that they could see, and then the shoes are dirty. So how do I know the victim didn't slip? 
the water wasn't on the boots. No, no, no. No, 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 go back, go back. Dang it. No, I said wet floor in the That's boots. That's not right. Back to the drawing board. Take that off. I want... I want wet floor. And I want boots. The boots would have been wet. The victim's boots are filthy. They should have left big muddy footprints on the floor. Right. So where are they? Someone else was here. But who? Either someone washed away her footprints, or she was carried here. Yay! Okay, that proves she didn't slip. So how did she actually die? What was the real cause of death? Well, this is like a cute little kid's game. Oh, I like this. This is cute. Okay. What was the real cause? So, I would say the coffee cup? And the mouth. Mm -hmm. There was a green residue in the bottom of the victim's coffee cup. Smells of burnt matches. Phosphorus. Also found in yes. common garden fertilizer. What? The same green mark is on the victim's lips. Her coffee was spiked with fertilizer. Someone clearly wanted her dead. Okay. Ah, the case of the dead lab assistant. Gone before her time. Was it poison? Yes. A blow to the head? Yes. An accident? Certainly not. No footprints in an unshattered mug? She was killed somewhere else and carried here. This is the story of a scorned ex lover. Jenny? <laughs> the gardener, enacting his revenge. Jenny? <laughs> a deadly brew of fertilizer and caffeine coursing through the veins. That's quite enough, thank you. What happens to the gardener? Is this gonna be on the test? Remember, class, even the smartest criminals make mistakes. This is how we catch a killer. But what's the point of all this? Yeah, there hasn't been a murder in Arthurton in years. Every town has a dark side, even Arthurton. By doubting, we are led to question. And by questioning, we arrive at the truth. Okay. That's all for today. Don't forget, next class is our field trip to the morgue. So have a light lunch. I never saw how to get away with murder, but I'm getting that vibe. The students need to think for themselves, Jenny. That's why they're here at Gumbolt. To learn. I just figured we all had places to go. Speaking of which... And where are you off to, young lady? I'm a dead body mom, remember? Dead bodies don't tell. <laughs> See ya! Wait, before you go, I have something for you. Cool. What is it? If I told you, that would spoil the fun, wouldn't it? The LeCruz didn't simply hand each other presents. They hid them. It was a family tradition, and mm. Jenny had developed a sixth sense for finding them. With her trusty magnifying glass at her side, nothing eluded her. That skeleton screwed me out. But okay. Where's Bly? Alright. Can I start with the skeleton? No? Nothing? Okay. No? Okay. Here? What about this? journal to jenny there was nothing better than the aroma of a fresh leather notebook it smelled like mystery <laughs> without missing a beat she did what any detective worth their salt would do 
She decorated it. I heart nerds. Is this where I decorate it too? Change sticker. Well, can I put it at the top center? What's next? Okay, why am I not moving? This one. No, they're not moving. I don't want to pick it up. What's X? Ooh. No, no. I wanted the magnifying glass. X change sticker. Okay. Clue. Add. Kapow. Two, right? What else? Add. Do we want an X? No. No, I don't want to drop that. Let's move this. Ooh, that looks interesting. Ooh, that looks cool. All right, and then just have this magnifying glass right there with that back on top of that. Ah. <laughs> All right, I'm done. <laughs> Ooh, great new detective. journal meant new adventures. She imagined all the thrilling cases that would soon fill its pages. And on the first page, her mother had written an inscription. A great detective never gives up. Love, Mom. Oh. I don't want to decorate. I have to decorate again? <sighs> oh. Okay. I'm moving. Change tab. Oh. Find a map. Keep it here. CEO. Ooh. Okay. A choice creepy tunnel from a mysterious man to whistle. You choose something totally normal for a man to whistle. Oh, I had to choose the creepiness? I didn't know I was choosing it. Okay, next tab. Don't know, don't know. And we're done. I thought we just decorated it. What is this? Add more then. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I love it. Thanks, Mom. Jenny, I wanted to talk about, um, to say, uh. Somewhere in the back of Jenny's highly caffeinated brain, an alarm bell was ringing. Her mum was. Hesitating. What could be causing her to act so out of character? Crossed arms. Furrowed brow. Jenny saw it coming from a mile away. Her mother was about to get... Emotional. I've really got to go. No, Jenny, wait. I need your help. What? Really? Jenny couldn't believe her ears. It was extremely unusual for her mother to ask for help. It must be something very important. Tracing the steps of a deranged killer? A cold case that only someone with Jenny's expertise could solve? I misplaced the student's essays on decapitation. See if you can find them for me before you leave. I have to run. Wow, the case of the misplaced papers. Are you sure you want to trust me with such a complex task? I have no doubt you'll be able to find them. They're around here somewhere. Jenny was unsure if her mother was unable to detect sarcasm or just really good at ignoring it. Help, mother. Okay, mom. I'll find them before I leave. On one condition. 
Yes? You have to let me help grade them. One of Jenny's favorite pastimes was grading papers. Nothing pleased her more than giving a big shiny F to an overconfident <laughs> student. <laughs> Don't push your luck. Please. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Oh, Find the she papers like that? and go straight home. But I'm meeting Keith tonight. No buts. Remember? Oh, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm still feeling the effects of being poisoned for your class. Well then, I have the perfect antidote. You're staying with your cousin this weekend, and you still need to pack. This again? Look, I've considered your offer, Mom, and I'm going to have to decline. I'm old enough to take care of myself. I'll be back late tonight. There's meatloaf in the fridge. Late again? What are you up to? Jenny LeClue, it's been a difficult week. Could you please just do what you're told for once and stop asking questions? Fine. And try to stay out of trouble. When do I ever get into trouble? <laughs> this is cute. Alright, let's find these papers and get out of here. Boo, the journal's updated. Okay. So we can rot walk. Examine the skeleton. See, this is where the platformer comes. There's one sheet of paper. Becoming a great detective took more than book smarts. You needed real life experience. And Jenny was always on the lookout for a chance to get her hands dirty. Okay, and more of these things. I didn't mean to touch this, but here we are. I need the paper that's under the, the thing, the stand. Oh, perfect. Why? A. It's one of the students' term papers. You can tell by the terrible handwriting and erroneous conclusions. Mom must have put them behind the chalkboard. Okay. There it is. So can I, uh, press A to grab? There we go. Oh, because it fell? you time to get out of here wait is there anything else because that? that was fast there we go please do not touch hmm someone must be running an experiment Ooh. Ooh. gross pretty soon it's gonna sprout legs Can we zoom in more? That's it. Okay, exit. That wasn't what I was going for. I want the thing on the floor. Here we go. Okay. Anything else? Well, let's just grab it and pull it in the opposite direction just to make sure that we're not missing anything. Okay, thank you. Let me know if you guys see anything. I'm not leaving just yet. I said examine the skeletons. So Looking it. rather trim today, Ethan. Huh? New diet? Huh? What's the matter? Lost your funny bone. <laughs> okay. Anything else in here? One of Jenny's earliest memories was making raspberry jam with her mom. It's the perfect substitute for blood in class demonstrations. And better tasting than the pig's blood the textbook recommends. Yikes. Another scrap. All right, we're done. Jenny looked around the room one last time. 
Was she ready to leave? Okay, so she wasn't really dead. That would be silly. No, Jenny was alive and well and ready for another perfect day in Arthurton. He is to run. We don't gotta do that just yet, or do we? Oh, did you see it run? Well, there was a leap. What the? What a mess. I should investigate. She runs. <laughs> okay. Oops. Jenny had an instinct for sorting treasure from trash. To the untrained eye, this was just a discarded piece of an old postcard. But to Jenny, it was a mystery waiting to be solved. I should keep my eyes open for any other pieces. Ooh. This is the puzzling postcard. Nothing else? Alright. Well, since we're still here... The notice board was awash with flyers, personal ads, and the occasional piece of gum. I'm amazed anyone can find anything on here. <laughs> Fortunately, Jenny had a useful trick to use in a situation like this. Mom always says, a great detective eliminates the noise. Focus on the details, and you'll find clarity in the chaos. Okay. Tap. Tap. I wonder if anyone else reads this junk. Hold on. What's this? Curfew. Oh, no. They've extended curfew hours again. 9 p.m. to sunrise? That's ridiculous. But necessary. Power outages had become a regular occurrence in town. It was dangerous to be wandering around after dark. It won't be long before we need a permit to go out at all. Right. Oh, man. Why does it look like this, like, half, like, something else is there? What is this? Okay. Why do we need to do this? Okay. Anything else? Oops. No, no, go back. I didn't do that. I was trying to run. back there well I was pruning but then I discovered this cerulean bugberry bush discovered these bushes are all over Arthurton actually this is an incredibly rare bloom there's nothing rare about Arthurton I beg to differ Arthurton has many beautiful and exotic plants really like what mushrooms with eyes that glow in the dark Berries that emit a bioluminescent mist, and flowers with nectar as sticky as super glue. Where? I've never seen any of those things. Well, believe me, they do exist. I've had the pleasure of seeing them up close. That's one of the privileges of working for Dean Strousberry in his greenhouse. Anyway, I should get back to work. I want everything to be perfect for the Dean's retirement celebration. It's funny how everyone has to answer to her. <laughs> Oh, it's a clue somewhere. Oh, it's shining. Oh. 
I would have never seen that. Alright, something else? I see something else shining though. That. Or is that just a petal? Alright. Run, girl, run. Alright. Let's check this direction. It's like she works on, Her mom works on the college, so why is Jenny here? There's something on that board. Bonfire. Left! Left! Yes. I said left, damn it! What part of left are you having trouble with? My left or your left? <laughs> my left. Obviously, I mean my left. Why would I mean your left? So you want me to move it the other way? Yes. Nothing would make me happier. If you're not careful, we're gonna have bronze brains all over the floor. They seem... Huh? busy. <laughs> I should probably lead them to it. Just don't get hit, girl. Hello, Mr. Strasbury. How are you today? A jolly gentleman. The <laughs> dean was often seen shaking hands and kissing babies around town. He's also mom's boss. But more than that, he was her loyal friend. What do you think, Jenny? The Dean had dedicated his life to Gumbolt, and the townspeople had spared no expense in their tribute to him. Quite a striking resemblance, Mr. Strasbury. <laughs> it's a scary thing, Jenny. The belly, too. Retirement. <gasps> Great excuse for a party, though. Right. <laughs> what will you do when you're no longer the Dean? I've been trying not to think about it. This place won't be the same without you. Things change, Jenny. Time marches on, and we must do our best to adapt. It's going to be difficult, but I'm sure we will get through it. What do you mean, we? Do you think they made my belly too big? Yeah. Be nice. It's probably just a perspective, Mr. Strasbury. <laughs> you are a clever one, Jenny LeClue. Speaking of which... Have you been practicing your detective skills? Have I? Of course, always. <laughs> well then, I have a challenge for you. I bet you can't guess what I ate for breakfast. At last, a real challenge for Jenny. A fiendishly difficult puzzle that would take all her wits to solve. <sighs> well, okay. Anything for you, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, how wonderful. But first, I need to ask you a few questions. Uh oh. All right, he wears a mustache. He has white hair. He's bald. <laughs> okay. Bow tie? Powder? Dandruff? No hair. Sugar? It can't be dandruff. He has no hair. I have a hunch it's powdered sugar. What are we doing? I'm confused. The Dean was a big fan of the Gumbold Moonbeams. And not just because his son was a prominent figure on the team. Well, a bench warmer anyway. Okay. Missing button? No? Oh, there is a Y. That's what I said. The Dean didn't button his shirt properly. It looks like a blood stain, but the seeds indicate otherwise. For the Dean, being covered in plant life was not unusual. 
His work as a botanist was renowned. Looks like you're carrying some extra baggage today, Mr. Strasbury. Well, ah. I do have a lot on my mind. I was referring to your legs. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have been doing my daily calisthenics. No, I, I mean the sticky stuff on your pants. What? Oh! Hitchhikers. I've been working on a new orchid hybrid in my greenhouse. They're beautiful, but the leaves are quite clingy. I will say, I am looking forward to spending more time in the dirt. Now there's still four more. Huh. Jeez, all right. Ipsa scientia potestas est. Looks like Latin. Your ring sure looks old. It was made for my grandfather. He passed it down to my father, who passed it down to me. And when the time comes, I'll pass it on to my son. The Strausberry family had been champions of education for generations. What does the inscription mean? Knowledge itself is power. The inquisitive spirit is a mighty thing, Jenny. And nothing is as important as the truth. What? <laughs> His watch is slow. That's unlike the Dean. He's usually very punctual. Your watch is 45 minutes slow. Is it? Oh my. That explains why there was no cheesecake left in the cafeteria. <laughs> my head's not screwed on today. Thank goodness you noticed, or I'd be late for my meeting with your mother. Oh, really? She didn't mention anything to me. Oh, well, of course she wouldn't. <laughs> it's nothing important. Why are you meeting, then? It's just, um, she's helping me finalize my, my plans for, uh... Your party? Yes, that's it. My retirement party. Thank you. Are you okay, Mr. Strasbury? Right. Of course. Now let me just fix my watch before I forget. <laughs> Now, where were we? A spoon? Looks like he accidentally put a spoon in his pocket instead of his pen. It's got a coffee stain on it. Okay. bundle of note cards poked out of the Dean's pocket. What's he keeping so close to his chest? Uh -oh. You've been making a lot of notes, Mr. Strasbury. Oh, I was intending to make a speech on Saturday. Why have you scratched out so much of it? Your mother suggested I keep it short, and quite right, too. I must have rewritten it 20 times by now. I just can't seem to find the right words. So, what do you think, Jenny? Can you guess what I had for breakfast? Sure, Mr. Strasbury. I've got everything I need to solve this mystery. <laughs> okay. What did the Dean eat for breakfast? A strawberry donut? Strawberry filled Jam on his shirt and powdered sugar on his tie. The evidence points strongly to the Dean's breakfast consisting of one, maybe two donuts. <laughs> this is cute. What else can I tell about the Dean's morning? Hmm. I would say the spoon and the slow watch. Oh, there's a third thing. 
and he's running late. The Dean had neglected to wind his pocket watch. The act of a distracted man. This resulted in his whole routine being thrown off. Which might explain why he has a spoon in his pocket instead of a pen. <laughs> you had a donut for breakfast. Yes? I'm guessing... Raspberry. Raspberry. <laughs> How did you know? That part was easy. You always have donuts for breakfast. But something else caught my attention. Oh? I think you have something on your mind, Mr. Strasberry. You are usually a picture of precision and punctuality. But today, there's a spoon in your pocket and your shirt button is undone. My, my. You really are a Leclou. Your father would be so proud. Thanks. Well, I should be going. I'm meeting your son by the lake. <laughs> and I'm meeting your mother in the library. Ooh. What a small world this is. <laughs> Too small. A perfectly small world with everything in its right place. Who would want to change that? Mm. Pardon? Nothing. See you on Saturday. Oh, yes. Until we meet again, Jenny LeClue. Yay! All right. Are we done for now? Or are we going somewhere else? We can't go back. Now we Signs the and decorations adorned the entire campus. A party to celebrate the Dean's impending retirement. Because <laughs> that's not creepy. Well, that's not creepy at all. Right. In her short time as a detective, Jenny had learned never to ignore a ringing phone. I'm ignoring it. <laughs> Avocado Hall. <gasps> Hello? Hello? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. What? CJ, is that you? The dog barks loudest before the dawn. Really? This again? It's me, Jenny. We don't need to do this. I have no idea who you are, and I know no one by that name. <laughs> the dog barks loudest before the dawn. Fine. The early bird can't catch the lazy worm. Good. The wind... Blows strongly from the east. People in glass houses should invest in curtains. Excellent. The evening sky is full of fireflies. The last donut is the tastiest. Ah! Jenny, it is you! Oops. Of course it is! I need to meet with you right away. I okay. just guessed. Where do you want to meet? This oh. place will do. Everyone in town knew that CJ was mad, even dangerous. He's not dangerous. He just doesn't accept things at face value. Sure, he's a bit fixated on extraterrestrials, but at least he's passionate about something. <laughs> CJ and Jenny certainly indulged each other's obsessions. But most of all, CJ treated Jenny like a colleague. And not a little kid. CJ, why did we go through all that if you're right here? Okay. Can't be too careful. Yeah. Are you sure you weren't followed? Uh. Who would be following me? Shh. Mm -hmm. This place is compromised. We don't have long to talk. Now, what did you want to talk to me about? What? You called you. me. Did I? Why? Talking to CJ was a bit like navigating a maze. What? You had a rough idea of where you were headed, but you couldn't be sure you'd ever get there. I'll help you figure it out. 
Oh gosh, another one? Oh, only three. All right, that's not terrible. I saw them, no? Oh, there's one thing here, so pick that up. Well, why is my eye, I guess this light. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I can investigate. There's another one here. Okay, I guess we need to use this. Is that for this? Yes. Oh, my full cry. No? Hiding something. A compass with strange symbols where the cardinal direction should be. Looks broken. Where did you get that compass? Ah, you spotted it. I knew you would. It belonged to my father. He left it to me to find the truth. You're not going to find anything with that. The needle is wandering all over the place. A bit like you. Yeah. It's searching. For what? For them. It's this town, Jenny. It's Arthur. They're here, among us, and this proves it. Or it could just be broken. Could be. I guess we'll never know. That is an interesting concept, though. Like, a broken compass wanders all over the place, but a correct one always points north. Why is that? What does CJ stand for? Is it your birthday, CJ? Birthday? Whose birthday? Kikes its birthday. But Kikes had died on his birthday. Assassination? Possibly. Abduction? Almost certainly. CJ, the card? Oh, this. It's for you. Impossible shot. Died instantly. No suspects. No human suspects, anyway. Thanks, CJ. That's, uh, thoughtful. I didn't think you'd remember. I know what it's like to lose something important to you. Now triple shred and incinerate that card as soon as possible! It's got my fingerprints all over it! What? That sticking out of your sock. Ah! That's what I wanted to talk to you about. I intercepted a secret message. Classified intel. It's proof, Jenny. It's happening again. And it's time for us to join the fight. This doesn't look like the kind of pamphlet he usually makes. It's been professionally printed. Could what? CJ finally be on to something? It's just part of a cereal box. A cereal box from another space-time continuum? Hmm. Nope, just a regular cereal box. It's an ad for a toy. But why? <laughs> why would it just be lying there in the trash? <laughs> I'm sorry, CJ. There are still great mysteries out there to solve, but this isn't one of them. So what's the plan now? Library. Research. Very important. Very hush-hush. They let you back in? Not yet. But I've got this hat now. It wasn't your head that needed covering. No, for disguise! I know, CJ. What is it this time? More UFOs? Radio wave mind control? A globally connected communication network used exclusively to view pictures of cats? Jenny, you sound crazy. Yep. I'm just preparing my defense for the hearing. Is this because you tried to hypnotize Mrs. Brown's prize poodle? No. <laughs> that was last week. It's because I peed in the water tower. CJ, that's gross. 
And this is the thanks I get for saving everyone from the mind control chemicals. Well, I guess I'll see you later then. But CJ was gone. CJ, I know you're standing behind the phone booth. Hmm? I just watched you walk over there. No, I'm not. Okay then, bye. See you later. Oh boy. Alright. I think this is where I say goodbye. Let's see. Did you guys like this so far? Obviously we're going to get interacted more and more with mysteries, investigation. There is a murder. Uh, if you saw the trailer for this in the... Um, I'm playing on Switch, by the way. There's a little trailer and there's this guy who looks a little gray. It's... This is a kitty game. I like this. So if you like this and you think it would be great for us to play on the channel, because I am looking for a new game to start, let me know. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoy it. I will save this right here. I will not move forward. Let's see if I can actually figure out how to do that. Huh. Saved just now. Perfect. <laughs> what is gallery? Oh, because this isn't creepy either. What? Okay, interact. Zoom in. That was zoom out. This is zoom? Okay, zoom again. What's up here? Oh, this is cute though. They're cute, little drawings. There's a lot of question marks because we haven't seen not even half of this story. Alright, well, more to come. If we continue. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. One minute since the last save, so it automatically saves. But this is it for us. Bye!